Hey guys, uh, Mr. B here again, bringing another math video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about, um, and I'm going to show you guys some examples of conversion word problems. So this one's specifically going to deal with uh, imperial units, so things like inches, uh, feet, miles, yards. And in the next video I'm going to make, it's going to be about a mix between those and metric units like meters, mi uh, meters, kilometers, things like that. So this one's based on just imperial units. So the first thing you need to recognize for this, you know, this type of video is you need to be able to recognize what type of units you're given and you need to know the associated conversion factors with those. So I'll read the question then we'll try the, we'll try it. So it says a room has a perimeter of uh, 960 inches. If the baseboard costs a dollar uh, and a dollar 25 per foot how much and the room has one four foot door opening my uh, spelling here not my grammar not the greatest how much will it cost to buy the baseboard so first of all we need to recognize that the perimeter we're given that is the entire distance away around the room so all the way around the room that is the perimeter so that perimeter is equal to 960 inches. So the only problem with this is that our cost for a baseboard is given in feet. So we need to change this 960 inches to feet. We also have to deal with the fact that there's an opening, a four foot opening that we're not going to put baseboard on because obviously we're not going to put baseboard across a door uh, or a door opening. So what we need to do first of all is change this to feet. So we need to know the conversion. We need to know that one foot is equal to uh, 12 inches. So I'm going to use proportionality. Now you might be able to just sort of think about this, especially when it comes to inches and feet, but I like to use a proportion because it works every single time. So we want an answer in feet. So that's what we're given, x or that's what we're looking for, x feet, and we're given this 960 inches. And then we can use our proportion to say one foot is equal to 12 inches and of course we end up dividing so we have 960 divided by 12 so I go to my calculator I got my TI tonight 960 divided by 12 so that gives me exactly 80 feet so now what I need to do is account for the fact that I have that four foot door opening so I'll take my um, 80 and I will subtract 4 from it and I get 76 feet so that's the length of baseboard that I need so that's the amount of baseboard so I need 76 feet of baseboard so now I need to calculate the cost so the cost well if I have 76 feet and it costs a dollar 25 per foot so dollar 25 times 76 feet. Then I'll just do the math. So I have um, $1.25 times 76, and that gives me $95, which is not too bad. All right, guys, so there's an example, a, a great example of a conversion word problem where you have, you know, you have the one conversion, and then you have to do a little bit extra to be able to get the answer. So let's have a look at a couple of other ones. I got two more. All right, so let's look at this, this, this question. This is a, sort of like a staple. All right, so the grad committee has 10 yards of fabric to be cut into 10 inch strips. How many strips can they make? So again, we have yards and inches going on here. So this is an imperial unit. So we need a known conversion between the two. So the conversion is that one yard is equal to 36 inches. And the way I remember is this is that one yard is equal to three feet. So we'll use this, but this is how I remember this conversion. So again, uh, what I want to do is change this yard into inches. So I'll say x inches, I want x inches, and then 10 yards is equal to 36 inches over one yard. I don't know why I have the s there, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, 
So what I end up doing now is just cross multiplying these two to be able to get my answer. So 36 times 10, so 360 inches. So now that I have that, I know that the length of that uh, fabric is 360 inches. I want to know how many strips I could make, so number of strips. So I'll take 360 and then I'll divide it by 10 and that'll give me 36 strips. And there it is. So again, it's all about recognizing what, what conversion factor I need to use. So look at the units that you have. You have, in order to compare things, you need them to have them in the same unit. So that's generally your objective with these questions. All right, one last question. So, Pierre is five foot seven and Jamie is 68 inches. Who is taller? So again, this is about, we need to be able to compare the two units. So in order to do that, they need to be the same. So we can either change the 68 inches to feet or the, the five feet, seven inches to inches. So I like changing things um, to a smaller unit. So I'm gonna take this five feet, seven inches and change it into inches. So I'll take, I'll start with the five feet first. So the thing I have to remember is that one foot is equal to 12 inches. So again, I'll set up a proportion. So I'm looking for inches. So X inches over five feet. And again, guys, you might be saying, I can do this right away without this. And that's great. If you can, by all means, do it. The only thing is don't lose sight of the fact that sometimes it's not always obvious what to do. So you got things that you're like feet and inches we're really familiar with. So you might be able to say, I'll just multiply this by 12. I know what to do. Yeah, absolutely. That's what we end up doing, right? Um, but just think about, you know, sometimes a method like proportions works out really great because you get to um, sort of a systematic way. So 5 times 12, that's 60 inches. So now I have uh, Pierre is going to be 60 inches plus the 7 inches that he already has. So he's 67 inches and Jamie is 68. So Jamie is taller by one inch. And there it is guys, so a few random examples of conversion word problems. I hope this helps you um, on your journey to be able to figure this stuff out. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in class. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching.